this video we're going to share seven toxic foods your dog cannot eat these are common everyday foods that you probably have laying around your house right now it's important to understand what your dog can and cannot eat how much of it they can eat before there's a problem and what to do if you suspect your dog ate one of these seven things but first we want to tell you about good food for your dog by raised right they're a family-owned human grade pet food company that offers high protein foods that are low in carbs. They work with Karen Becker to make home cooked style foods that's stored frozen and served fresh. Your dog will absolutely love it. A link to get started is in the description. And in this video, we're gonna share seven foods that you have to be aware of as an owner in order to keep your dog safe, happy, and healthy. So let's get started with the first item. The first item is onions, garlic, and chives. Luckily for dog owners, these aren't really that appealing to dogs like chicken or bacon, but they can still get into it. And some of you out there know that your dogs will eat just about anything. So whether raw or cooked, be aware that these can be toxic to your dog. If they eat a whole onion, it really messes up their stomach, really can cause bloating and a lot of problems. So make sure that you're aware if you have onions, garlic, or chives around the house, and make sure that your dog does not get into them. And you know your dog well, and you know that if your dog is one of those dogs that eats not everything, then keep onions, garlic, and chives away from them. And if you suspect that your dog got into this, call your vet immediately and see what needs to be done on a next step. The number two food item that is toxic and needs to stay away from your dog is chocolate. However enticing chocolate is for humans and dogs, chocolate is another poisonous food for dogs. Chocolate contains a stimulant called theobromine. Dark chocolate has the highest content of this, which is toxic to dogs and can cause kidney failure. So. Dogs need to eat a lot of chocolate for this to happen, but they can do that because chocolate is so good and they just can't stop eating it. So make sure if you have large amounts of chocolate around that you keep an eye on that and make sure that your dog doesn't take it down. If your dog has small amounts of chocolate, say a Hershey Kiss or something small, they should be totally fine. But any more than a few bars of chocolate, you definitely want to get a hold of your vet. Let them know that they have consumed chocolate and see what they need to do. The next food that you need to be aware of and your dog needs to avoid is macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts contain a toxin that can affect your dog's muscle and nervous system resulting in weakness, swollen limbs, and panting. If you suspect that your dog did get into some macadamia nuts, the first thing you can do is look for some signs. And the signs that a dog did eat these would be that they'll be a little more sluggish, slower, and they'll be laying down and look tired more often than not. If this does happen, then you can call your vet, tell them that you suspect they got into macadamia nuts, and from there, they can direct you on the next best thing to do. But if your dog's eating, drinking, and acting fine, then most likely they didn't eat enough macadamia nuts to cause a problem, and they should be fine. The number four food to be aware of is corn on the cob. Corn on the cob could potentially be fatal if eaten by your dog. Although the corn is digested by the dogs, it's actually the cob that can cause a blockage in your dog's intestines. So keep corn on the cob away from your dog, and if you suspect that they did eat some corn on the cob, you'll have to call your vet because they may need to get the cob out immediately. Just know that this could get lodged in their throats and then in their intestines and can cause a big problem. So keep corn on the cob away from your dog. And again, if you have a dog that goes after just about anything, then just know corn on the cob is something that could be fatal because of a choking hazard or could get stuck in their intestines. The number five common food that's toxic to dogs is avocado. Avocado plants contain a substance called Pearson which is in its leaves, fruit, seed, and can cause vomiting and diarrhea in dogs. So it's not fatal for dogs. It can make them very sick, sluggish, and just not feel very good at all. So keep avocados away from your dog. And if you suspect that your dog did get into an avocado, again, call your vet. But if your dog's eating, drinking, and acting fine, then they didn't have enough avocado to really cause a problem, and you should be fine. The number six item that your dog needs to stay away from is artificial sweetener. Artificial sweetener in dogs has been linked to liver failure and blood clotting disorders. Artificial sweeteners are hanging around in a few more places than you may think. If you take your dog out, 
out to the park, to restaurants. A lot of times these are sitting around, may have dropped. So sometimes your dog can be munching on an artificial sweetener underneath the table and you may not even know it. So keep your eye on the dog and if they are going to get into artificial sweetener, make sure you talk to your vet right away to let them know. But again, if they're eating and drinking well, then usually that means there isn't a problem and you should be good to go. The last food that's not safe for dogs is alcohol. Alcohol can have a huge impact on dogs, even in small dogs. The drink not only causes intoxication as it does in humans, but it can also lead to sickness, diarrhea, and even central nervous system damage. So it's important that you keep alcohol away from dogs. And it's never fun, funny, or okay to give alcohol to dogs to see what happens because it really does impact them negatively and it can cause sickness, a lot of bad problems, and it's never to be joked around to have alcohol around a dog or to give alcohol to a dog. We hope that you've learned all about things that you should not give your dog or at least be aware of around your house. And if you ever come in contact with these things, make sure you contact your vet immediately and all should be okay. We'll see you on the next one.